Every time you deliver canola to a licensed primary elevator or processor, a sample will be assessed for dockage. This assessment provides a clean sample for grading and determines the net weight of the canola being delivered. You can ask to watch the dockage assessment process. The Canada Grain Regulations clearly state that this is your right as a grower. Here's a quick overview of what happens at each stage. First, the elevator operator takes a representative sample of canola from the truck. This canola is reduced into a working sample of at least one kilogram. This is done with a piece of equipment called a Borner divider. Before any dockage is removed, this working sample is weighed to determine its gross weight. Then the working sample is cleaned. First, it is sifted over two different types of sieves, one with round holes and one with slots. As the round hole sieve is used, the canola drops through the holes, while the large dockage material stays on top. When the sample is sifted over the slotted sieve, the canola stays on top, and the smaller dockage drops into the pan. Choosing the correct sieve is a key part of this process. The official grain grading guide specifies a range of sizes that can be used. There is no requirement to use them all. Commonly used sizes are the number 6.5 and number 7 round hole sieves, and the number 0.028 and 0.032 slotted sieves. When selecting sieves, the goal is to remove enough conspicuous admixture so that the grade tolerance can be met while also minimizing the loss of reasonably sound canola. Choosing sieve sizes that will produce this result requires care and attention by the person doing the assessment. For example, in number one canola, the grade tolerance for conspicuous admixture is 1%. If the openings in the slotted sieve are too small, the cleaning may not take out enough conspicuous admixture to meet that grade tolerance. On the other hand, if the openings are too large, too much sound canola could end up in the dockage pan. Ideally, there should be only a few, if any, canola seeds remaining on top of the round hole sieve. And under the slotted sieve, there should be very little canola falling into the pan. It's important to choose sieve sizes that will strike the right balance. Once the sample has been sieved, it is aspirated using the Carter Day dockage tester. As the sample goes through the machine, the lighter weight material, the chaff, is collected in one part of the machine. The canola falls down and is collected in the other area. Next, the clean sample is assessed for conspicuous admixture. This is the material that can't be easily cleaned from canola because it's roughly the same size and shape as canola seed. The conspicuous admixture is picked out of a smaller subsample by hand and weighed. The weight of this material is compared to the weight of the subsample to determine the percentage of the conspicuous admixture in the cleaned sample. The person doing this assessment will check to see whether this content is within the tolerance for the grade. Finally, the material removed by the two sieves and the aspirator is weighed. This weight is compared to the gross weight of the uncleaned sample to determine a second dockage percentage. This percentage is added to the conspicuous admixture percentage. The sum of the two is the total percentage of dockage in the sample. The net weight of canola in the truckload can then be calculated. First, the total weight of dockage is determined by multiplying the gross weight of the load by the percentage of total dockage. Then, the net weight is calculated based on the gross weight of the load minus the total weight of dockage. Your payment is issued on the net weight. To sum up, there are two main things to watch for during the dockage assessment. A representative sample should be taken from the load. And the sieves should be selected so there's minimal loss of canola as the sample is cleaned. Remember, it is your right as a grower to watch this process when you deliver your canola to a primary elevator. The dockage assessment process is explained in more detail in the official grain grading guide, which is available on the Canadian Grain Commission website. To learn more about how to manage dockage and grading factors impacting your canola, visit knowyourgrade.ca.
or check out one of the grain grading courses designed specifically for farmers.